So, I'm driving this out of my neighborhood at the moment, and normally I would start this video driving on a slightly better road than where I live. However, yesterday, the airport fire flared up, happened, and it's currently at like 9,000 acres or something crazy. It's basically burning the entire top of Santiago Peak, which is where I do a lot of off-roading. It's burning through my mountain biking trails. Um, it's not good. And it's closed a lot of the roads I would drive on. Uh, in fact, I was going to take this back to Ortega Highway because we haven't been there forever because it's been under construction, but I did a scouting run and it looks like most of it is open um, until today when it's closed because there's evacuations out there. Nothing on my side is being affected. The fire's moved away from all the structures on this side of the hill, but it is moving down the back side of the hill into Riverside County. Hopefully they can get a handle on this. They're using a lot of firefighting equipment, new helicopters, all kinds of stuff. But digressing because here we are to talk about the Lotus Amira first edition 2.0 and man was that kind of a depressing intro good thing I shot a bunch of footage the other day Looks wise on the outside, this thing looks fantastic, especially in this dark verdant paint, which is green. Uh, the wheels look good, the body lines look great, all the vents look good. I mean, this is just a, a nicely shaped machine here. Move inside, and I am here to tell you that this is the nicest Lotus I've ever been in. Um, they just really nailed it. It feels so much nicer than like the Evora, which was the last Lotus I was in. The, the fit and finish is good. This screen looks nice. It has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The seats are comfortable. I'm probably at the limit. I say this a lot of who can fit in this car, but it's pretty true, 63210. Um, but I am comfortable. Um, it took a couple, a little bit of fidgeting, but then when I found how I wanted the seat, it's good to go. The sound system, it sounds good. You get the, sound, the soundtrack of the engine behind your head. Uh, but I'm actually really impressed of just how nice it is inside this Lotus. It's kind of funny though too, there's a couple things I changed. I think the steering wheel is a little too thick in spots, um, but that's very personal preference. The other thing I find interesting is how short the pulls are on the, uh, the paddle shifters. It's like a click, 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 which you would think would equate to just like lightning fast shifts, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, power wise, out back sits the M139 2 liter turbo 4 from AMG. It makes 360 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. Backing that up is an 8 speed dual clutch gearbox, and 0 to 60 is said to be in the low 4 second range. M139, the AMG engine. Yes, you can still get these with a 3.5 liter supercharged six cylinder engine borrowed from Toyota, um, but this does not have that. This has the AMG four cylinder. And I wanted this one to see what the lesser powered Lotus Amira would feel like. And it's fun. This is a good amount of power for a chassis like this. Top specs of the M139 make 469 horsepower, 402 pound feet of torque. The lowest is usually 382 horsepower and 354 pound feet for AMG. So when Lotus took this, they're like, no, give us less. Um, I don't think it's a particularly exciting noise. I do appreciate all the turbo flutter you get when you have the, um, oh God, I'm just staring at the fire now. When you have the, um, the window down, it's like a good amount of noise and you get some of that noise when you're, when you have the windows up, but with it down, it's, it's a lot of noise and it's fun. It's a fun amount of noise, but the rest of it, it's not like a thrilling four cylinder turbocharged engine. Um, and then as for the gearbox, first gear is a little bit of wonky, but that's, you know, all dual clutches are kind of like that. And then sometimes when you're really on it, like sometimes it's quick and sometimes it's not quick. I, I, I don't know how to explain that. Um, but like, if you go down, see that one, the first downshift was good. The second one lagged. And then there was a hang on that one too, but otherwise absolute blast. I have not put it 
I have not put it in auto the whole time I've been in the car. I immediately put it into manual because it's, it's a Lotus and you cannot get this one with a manual gearbox, but you still want to be able to shift it yourself via the paddles. Is that a 911R in front of me? Hold up. License plate is Andretti. Um, okay. It's weird to see California. Okay, so it's a black with a silver and red stripe in the center. Um, driving dynamics, obviously, it's brilliant. It's an electro hydraulic power steering setup. So it's not fully electric, and it's not fully hydraulic. It's kind of the best of both worlds here. Now, when you spec these, you can spec a sport version and a touring version. Touring version is more comfortable and has, uh, I believe, Goodyear Eagle F1s. This sport version gets the, the Michelins, um, so it gets better tires, it gets a stiffer suspension setup because it's, it's passively damped, it's not actively damped, though there are different driving modes, but that's more of like throttle responsiveness and engine noise. It, it's not um, sharpness, um, or at least it's not suspension aggressiveness. light up here yes we do so <clears throat> but just chassis wise i did get some time to enjoy this in the canyons before that part of orange county exploded into fire uh and i love this car uh it is it is a real joy to drive it's 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 actually effortless it was almost boring on certain sections of road because it was so good um, I would really, really, really like to push this on a racetrack so I could further explore the limits of this wonderful mid-engine rear drive setup. Um, but I, you know, you can only do so much on the road. Um, and I did what I could in the time I had it before my roads were shut down. I'm literally looking at the hill right now and it's smoke and fire, flame retardant. It's, it's not great. Um, but all that said, this is a good car. Uh, the price has jumped now that they've launched V2. Um, this is starts right at 100. I think the V6 is a little more than that. Uh, I don't know if they've fully announced pricing on that one or, or for the updated uh, first edition 2.0. Um, but my problem with the price relative to the power, because it can't all be perfectly rosy with the Lotus review, right? Why would you buy this over a Cayman? over 718. Um, the Porsche is the superior car. Uh, and I, I don't always like saying that, but it is very much true in this case. The Porsche is the superior car. You buy this because you want a Lotus. And that's fine. That's not a bad reason to buy this because a Lotus is something special. I'll see 900 Porsches in a day. I won't see another Amira on the road. And if I do, it's going to catch my eye because it looks good and I never see them. So the Porsche it is the better car. Uh, it'd be so fun to do a head-to-head -head against them. Like, whatever model of 718 lines up against this uh, price-wise. Because it, well, can you, could you do it price-wise or would you do it power-wise? Because you could, you could do both of those. And, um, you know, price-wise, maybe you'd have something more aggressive. Power-wise, maybe you'd have something cheaper. Uh, but either way, it'd be a really fun battle. At the end of the day, it's, it's one of those, like, everybody wins sort of things. When you, when you talk about those two um, in terms of head-to-head -head competition. But this thing is a blast. Like I said, the turbo noise is fun. The styling is fantastic. Oh, that little pop, like, and not like in a dumb, like aggressive BMW dickhead sort of way. Like it's actually just doing it more and then just, I'll do it all. I guess I'll take fast corners on the side streets around my local Target. Um, all right, that's it. Back it down. Lotus Amira, special car. Not better than a Porsche unless it's better than a Porsche to you. And that's okay. 